What is up, meteorology types? Thanks for tuning in. We're dis we've decided to broadcast from the galactic core today. We hope you're not viewing the video from waist deep water or neck deep water or from underwater. Here's what's causing a lot of water. Really what's happening is a series of things here. So you've got this low pressure right here. It's quite strong and it's causing stagnation in that part of the atmosphere, really. Meanwhile, this moisture is running into this dry air, which is in effect a high. That's like hitting a wall. And then because of the motion, as this is pulled toward the low, this is turned into this, because of the rotation of this low pressure system and so on, it's funneling all the air. It's bouncing off of this high and it's sending it all. That's, that's your atmospheric river, folks. And here is the impetus. We've got dry mass of air pushing through from the back. It's the perfect scenario to funnel way too much moisture out of the hot Pacific Ocean onto land. So that's your water vapor map for the Northern Pacific. Here's the surface wind scenario for the Western world. And here are the jet streams. And you'll see some of that stuff translated into the jet stream. So we're going to look at that briefly. There you go. If you don't know how to forecast your own weather, it's it's all coming down to a play of dry and and moist air. Anyway, that big kink in the jet stream is also affecting things. Here is the uh, jet stream scenario for the eastern world. And here are the surface winds. Blasting through more data. Here's weather.gov. If your county's lit up, just click on it. By the way, there's snow coming to these areas in the coming days. We'll show a forecast of that momentarily. Again, weather.gov. If your county's lit up, just click on it. Oh, a bunch of flooding forecasted for the East Coast as well. Uh, parts of New England and a bunch of New Jersey, most of New Jersey, with some flash flood watches. So here's your 72-hour forecast model. This is the GFS forecast for precipitation. And you can see a bunch of snow moving in there, expecting some very deep snows there in... Uh, Eastern California, you can see that's turning purple there, so getting up to at least 14 inches of snow there. So wet snow and tons and tons of rain. You can see snow for the northern portion of the Rockies, certainly. Some lingering snow there going to chill out in central Colorado as well. As that system moves across the entire country in about 72 hours, it'll be near the Mississippi. Some major lightning sweeping across the center part of the country also. Right now in places like Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio. Shout out. Here's a real-time lightning map. Courtesy of lightningmaps.org. It's quite spectacular. And I think we've got terrestrial lightning. Maybe not. It looks like everything has subsided there. I don't know, folks. I'm not sure if I'm buying it. It looks like it's live, though, as we see lightning in the Gulf of Mexico there, northwest of Cuba. Major strikes there, just off the, uh, the coast of Key West, near Dry Tortugas National Park. There's thunder rolling in. Criminy cripes. Criminy cripes of a Jesus gone. Jesus gone! Can you believe... Here at the Smash News Network, we try not to curse too much. It's very calming to do broadcasts from the galactic core. So here's uh, some satellite imagery. Satellite imagery there of the uh, West Coast. And you can see that rotating low just off the screen there to the left of the windy.com logo. Anyway, I figured I'd show that. It's too dark to see it, but windy.com 
hooks it up. By the way, this video was originally streamed live to Twitch. We did a 13-hour stream yesterday of The Closest Star. If you'd like some lengthy El Sol screensavers, we do this on the regs. And we did it because there's so much solar activity going on. Also, this filament, which needs naming. If you don't watch our space weather videos because you're only viewing the videos on Twitch or on BitChute, make sure you go subscribe on YouTube. You're missing like 90% of our content. Thanks to the viewer who actually commented and let us know that she did so. Cheers. So yeah, we're on BitChute. We need to do more exclusives over there, and that's coming. And pardon the slowness. I'm just checking the life of the stream here once again. Taking my good old time before I blast through a bunch of more data. So we're trying to go to AccuWeather.com here. We're just waiting for their website to load. And, oh, this is actually Newsweek. All right, my bad. I apologize. So the bomb cyclone bringing in mudslides, flooding, and power cuts. As we forecasted, i got to make sure that's muted. All right, it's muted. Good. We are good to go. So bad stuff going on. Closing highways. There's a guy standing in waist-deep water. I'm not sure if he's carrying a rifle or not. I hope not. Although, maybe that would be a good idea. Nobody's going to be looting in waist-deep water, I think. There is Highway 70 near Tobin. That is not the best day. Now, if you have a dual-sport motorcycle, you can ride right over that and laugh. With little to slow you down. So, horrific flooding, as we forecasted. Let's move on to talk about propaganda. Now, there's a lot of propaganda when it comes to things like climate. And we did a video about propaganda featuring Eugene the Philosopher. So make sure you go subscribe to Eugene the Philosopher. He's just recently reached 300 subscribers. Congratulations to Eugene. We did this long, long video about propaganda. It's got different meanings in different parts of the world. And it's actually got a more negative meaning here than it even does in Europe, especially Eastern Europe. Uh, so perhaps check that out. It's on our playlist. Terms Defined. So check out the Terms Defined playlist. We've got a bunch of videos with Eugene on there. Shout out to Eugene. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. Make sure you subscribe to ours. Tell your friends and foes about us. I don't think the algorithms are doing it. Congratulations on realizing we exist. Thanks to the Smash Team. Smashamash.com slash Smash Team. If you want all kinds of information nobody else sees. Here's a tidbit. Even the bronze members get to see when we put up a video. Yeah, we put up our daily space weather and meteorology segments, the YouTube versions of them, every day. And our bronze members see stuff that nobody else sees as well at smashamash.com slash smash team. You've got to set up a login in order to see the posts. There's a bronze, a silver, a gold, and a gold paid up annual membership. Check it out, smashamash.com for the information that we're not putting out in any of these videos. We're putting it on our own website because it's it's a real crowdfunding website. If you'd like us to build you one, drop us a line. We've recently gotten into the business of website building. Yes, for obvious reasons. So we've got some precipitation happening in Alaska here and a lot of precipitation happening in the lower 48. I'm not going to zoom in on any of those regions. You'll have to look at your local radars for closer pictures than that. And we're just going to refresh here. I had about 77 tabs open. So I had to... Uh, I had to refresh. I apologize there. We are streaming live. So there's the water vapor map. You can see this low pressure system as well here in northern Illinois. So you can see a rotational low there. Uh, and also another low here down in the Gulf of Mexico and so on. There's a lot of different interactions going on, and the best way to view it is with the water vapor map. So you can see uh, real obviously where that low is, right about here near the Illinois-Iowa border. And as this moisture spreads out here, it's just going to, it's going to change direction a little bit as a result of the Rocky Mountains. Things like orographic lifting are going to affect things. Anyway, here's a recap. I'm going to zoom in one level here. So, Here's the East Coast. 
Congress, Florida getting plastered with rain, heavy storms brushing past Nashville here. In Nashville, it's going to be a short series of windy showers. These systems here around Chicago are going to linger because the low is so far west. And here's the scenario for the Pacific Northwest. It's less than optimal. Please don't drive through waste deep water. There's the cloud layer. And there's the water vapor map. Once again, if you're in a location with flooding and you got to get somewhere, it's not worth it to lose your car and or life by driving through horrific floodwaters. Thanks for tuning in. I've been your host, Dan, a.k.a. Smash-A-Mash, signing off from the Smash News Network. Please bust it. Name it new.